What's up guys and welcome to the video. Beautiful day here, driving along. Just saw me there working on some additional treatment in the new room, making progress there. Getting my shelf system built for uh, where I'm gonna put some guitars and uh, have some amps underneath there. We'll check out those amps in a little bit, what I'm planning to put under there. And uh, what was that song though we just heard? Pretty sick one. What it was is a project that uh, a lot of you guys heard me talk about over the years but i haven't talked about it at all lately and that's the arnold and check project and that's a little snippet from one of the tunes there i got a lot of things going all the time a lot of pots on the stove everything's at different points of cooking some are simmering some are boiling some are just sitting and unfortunately the arnold and check thing has just been sitting for a while and uh it's been something i've been wanting to complete for a long time but josh Nicek, the singer of the arnold and check project there um He's just been doing some stuff on his own for a while, just work, family stuff, all that, you know how it is. Obviously, Corona, you know, put a COVID, we're calling it now, right? It's, who says Corona anymore, right? So anyways, COVID put a, put a big damper on everything. But out of the blue, I get a call this morning, and guess who I'm here with? What's going on? Mr. Josh Nietzsche. He's coming down to the studio with me. He's gonna uh, grab some more stuff here today, do a little more packing up and stuff, making good progress down there, probably 80, 90% done there. And then the move will begin, getting all the gear over there and everything, but he's gonna be helping me out. So, but anyways, he, he in the message this morning said that, uh, you know, he's looking forward to getting back and working on the stuff, which I think is killer because the stuff is killer and I can't wait to, to get it out there. So just another thing to uh, get people excited about that I'm gonna take forever to actually complete. But hey, it's something and I can't wait. And everything starts with the first step. And this is the first step we're taking, getting back at back at things here. How, how you been, Josh? I've been good. How's the vocal cords feeling? Great. Looking forward to singing. You've been working on any lyrics? Yep, tons of them. Good. Tons of lyrics, tons of tunes, all that shit. So I'm good. We got like five, six songs complete. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe two, three that we still need to lay down vocals for. And maybe we want to write a couple more. Yeah. So uh, over the coming, uh, coming months here, and uh, as soon as I get things uh, finished up, I got I to gotta finish the album, the Me and Andal's album first, and then we will get to work, or perhaps we can work on it a little bits here and there and stuff like that. But I promise you guys I'm going to put out that, that Me and Andal's thing first because I've been promising you for so long. So anyways, just a little good news on this front, some unexpected news this morning that I'm now stoked about, and it's good to hear that music again. I checked out some of the songs again, and, and man, they're just killer, and I can't wait for you all to hear them. So anyways, we'll, uh, I'll wrap up here for now and we'll see you guys at the studio. Talk about some gear and what's going on there. Cheers. Hey guys, stick around for info later in the video on my eBay weekly sale. Where each week I'll be auctioning off a brand new item such as apparel, rare Chimera memorabilia, gear, and more. Check out ebay.com slash USR slash Rob Arnold World and bookmark the page save my profile, enable notifications from eBay, and check out my items for sale every week. This week I'll be featuring my personal Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer. It's in mint condition, sounds great, and just might give you that drive you've been looking for to take your tone to the next level. So place your bid and be sure to stop back every week to see what you can win. Good luck and back to the video. So here we got a ton of gear. 
that I'm staging to bring back to the house. Every time that you guys have heard me talk about having a bunch of shit to store, this is like maybe half of it. Little red pearl kit, cased up. Gonna put this Marshall under the guitar rack and that shelving thing I was talking about there, as well as my Mesa cab, which is, oh, in this, uh, in this uh, case up here. So I'm gonna have, plan on having a Mesa and a Marshall on hand, ready to go all the time. Maybe a 6505 and a valve state, I don't know. Got an old crate G1600 XL back there. Another 6505, a couple more 6505s in this blue case down there. That's my live rig that sits there in there. Tuner, GSP 1101. What else? A couple other things. Just, this was just this right here, this whole thing, that rack, my head case there, and this Mesa cabinet here were all my live rig that I use at the Camira reunion show in 17. And if I had to play tonight, that's what I'd take with me right there. I'll open that stuff up for you back at the house in a future video. And this is cool, guys. This is Andal's crushed kit and all his hardware. This old Thomas Steel snare, bunch of extra heads, everything here all packed up. I don't know if any of you guys have been checking out on Facebook or not, but it was recently kind of just not announced. Not that it was a huge announcement, but uh, like again, anybody who happened to see it, this is getting delivered down to Andal's in the next 10 days or so. So he will finally have a kit that is good news for all Andals fans out there. Of course, we're all hoping and praying that he re returns to form. And we thought that having his kit down there would be a step in the right direction. So hopefully next thing you see is some pictures Andals posting of this thing set up and him playing some implements of destruction or something on there, huh? Cool. Here we got my main brain for my recording there that I've stripped down totally, sold off a bunch of my analog gear, added some more drawers just for storage. Oh, man. Ton of mics there. more cabling, stuff like that. You'll see that in the new room as well, and I'll go through everything that I'm currently using. A ton of guitars need to go back there, plus a bunch I already have at the house. We're getting a lot of guitar boats, coffins, pedal rack here. Stick around as I talk more about that Tube Screamer. At least I'm planning on it. Storage room almost completely cleared out. This thing was jam packed before. You guys have seen me in there. There's that old Outback carpet. I'm probably just gonna leave it here. So, making way here. All right, so we're back at home base here. And if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it, but we're not done yet. As you guys can see and saw, I finally got my acoustic panels hung here, the front and back walls and the uh, the corner baffles there. Still have the ceiling clouds to do, but uh, something I'll get to eventually there. I'm looking to get some like cool LED lights to put behind the corner baffles there, like something maybe I can put in the middle, something nice and bright. Hopefully that, you know, changes colors and stuff, but that can kind of like floodlight downward and and upward as well something like that but i'm not really familiar with the uh the led world there and, and i definitely i want them to be battery battery powered too so um if you guys have any cool suggestions uh for some good led lights that would cover what i was talking about there uh leave me a comment below send me a link there or uh, let me know what i can google and i would appreciate that um i left some space here uh kind of in the middle between these and around to hang a bunch of my uh, custom frame Kamura posters. I have a huge, sweet collection of posters that I've collected over the years and um, framed those and been looking forward to hanging them. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna have enough room to hang them all. So I plan on making a future video that I think would be pretty cool where I'm gonna lay them all out in the big portion of my basement over there and um, show you guys every single one of them, talk about them, talk about the history and what they're about and stuff like that. And maybe you guys can help me decide which ones to hang there. Um, 
So again, that'll be in a future video. Look out for that. Um, oh, this thing right here. I wanted to show you guys some ingenuity. A lot of you know what this, uh, this is here. My guitar player buddies definitely do. This is the bottom of a guitar stand. Uh, well, that's a different type of guitar stand back there. So for those of you that don't know, this is the bottom part of uh, a guitar stand and the guitar sits on there. Anyways, let me show you something here. I'm gonna get a different camera going. I have a uh, these lights up in the corners here that are looking at me and I've hung them above the baffles there with no stand. And uh, I had the stands, but uh, I wanted like a more kind of permanent solution, or no, not, not permanent, but somewhere where I could hang them and they could stay and I could adjust them how I want, move them and everything, and then if I want to put them back on the stands, I totally can. Um, so, but I was trying to figure out how I could hang them up there. And I'm sitting here looking around at stuff I got and I'm sitting there staring at this guitar stand and it just happens to be perfect. This thing at the top right here fits perfectly up into the light. And so the light just sits on there and it, it can swivel on that thing. So what I did is I stripped off one of the plastic sides here of this guy and uh, I have these, these side baffles on here um, just with a, a two by four running, you know, perpendicular to the walls there in between. And I just drilled a hole through the top and you can see there I'm using one of these guys here on each side. And the other one, just like that, and it works perfectly. I can adjust back there and swing them how I need to, and uh, works pretty sweet. So, uh, just some uh, guitar player creativity, using pieces of a guitar equipment to get the job done. Thought my guitar player buddies would appreciate that. Um, also, I uh, got the guitar shelf finished there, as you saw, and that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I have another one of these shelves, just like this, exactly right behind this wall here. And what I'm gonna do is stack all the cases on the top and all the cases below. I figure it'll take about 15 on, on each level, 30 cases, and, um, and then I'll just use this boat here to hold guitars that I'm using for current projects or just ones that I wanna have on hand, and it's gonna be nice to just be able to swap them out. Oh, I need to go grab, um, you know, a seven string or the RA4 or some bass or something like that. Just go grab it from the case shelf, all organized and stuff. I like to be organized and I think that's gonna be pretty cool. So, uh, and then underneath, as you'll see here, I was talking about how I was gonna have those half stacks set up below there. Well, until I bring those home in the meantime, just for fun, I got some uh, little practice amps there just to kinda just show you guys what I'm talking about. But eventually they'll be replaced with the big brothers there, like the Marshall and the Mesa, like I was talking about. So I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, finally, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about here was another future video that I'm gonna be working on here really soon. And it's gonna be a quick riffs, but like a quick riffs mix. So one riff or solo or part from a bunch of different songs all in one video. And the idea came from uh, one of my patrons that asked me to do a particular part that I thought, oh, I'm just not gonna make a whole video about this little part. So I decided to ask my patrons over my Patreon community, what riff solo would you like to see me break down and talk about? And they gave me a boatload of ideas. And so it's gonna be a really cool video. I just wanted to mention that if you like the sound of that and would like opportunities like that, I. I encourage you to join my Patreon community. So every once in a while, when I do do something like that, you could take advantage of it while simultaneously just really helping me out and the channel, helping me grow and get my videos and music out to you more frequently. And um, yeah, it's just, just a big help. And I appreciate everybody's support, whether you're a patron or not. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscription. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Hit the notification bell so you know when I release new videos. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Tell your buddies about the channel. I'm sure you already have, though. You guys are the best. Thanks so much. And I hope you join me again on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bottles, cowards, pain, fate, whispers, talking for days
Shot crack lips won't kill me 